Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find out that they are one tree and not two. Debbie, I love you for always knowing what I'm going to think five seconds before I do. Tim, I love you for learning Thai for six months just so you could get a five minute speech to my family. I love you for believing in me 100% of the time, even when I sometimes doubt myself. I love you for being the steadfast ox to my rabbit. <laughs> I love you for making me work so hard when I was first trying to persuade you to go out with me. <laughs> it showed me I can't always have it easy in life. Debbie is smart. Debbie is ambitious. Always making me laugh in a good way. Someone who puts family first. Find a heart that will love you at your worst and arms that will hold you at your weakest. Many of you may know, Tim got hurt after a particularly nasty fall playing football. Debbie's arms were those that held him at his weakest. As well as studying for a CFA exam, starting a new job and planning this absolutely beautiful wedding, she had to cook and clean up after him. She was essentially his carer. And then there's my mum who has always made sure I was well fed with her amazing cooking and who without fail always puts family first and of course is always right and my dad always wrong. <laughs> so basically that's a dynamic I'm going to have to get used to now that I'm married. <laughs> Debbie, there's something about Debbie that's kind of hard to describe. I was trying to feel like Jorge was saying, what to say about Tim? What do I say about Debbie? I didn't quite know what to say. It's hard to put my finger on it, but the best thing I can say was she's, she's really well put together genetically. Like, like... <laughs> it's been great to see Tim and Debbie have their relationship. And um, like, I think we've seen Tim become uh, like, not the hero that Debbie needs, but the hero that she deserves. <laughs> and we've seen Tim, like, break a lot of his bones, but we know deep down he is a solid guy. He's really solid. Like... All our vows earlier, one of Debbie's was about the rabbit and the ox. Chinese zodiac signs are meant to say a lot about a person. Debbie is a rabbit, and rabbits are always looking for their next adventure or challenge. They're also sophisticated yet sensitive souls who empathize with nearly any situation. And I really think Debbie has managed to bring out the best in me. An ox who likes routine and he tends to view everything as black or white. questions was what their biggest concern was for their upcoming wedding and Tim's response was that he just hopes that Debbie's family would be happy and he didn't have any concern whatsoever about the little details all he cared about was that his future family was happy and it was in that moment that I realized that De uh, that Tim cares so deeply about family just like Debbie does Thank you.
I also admittedly am not great at putting my feelings into words, and trying to define what love is, is always going to be difficult. So in the search of an answer to this elusive question, I turned to my four-year-old nephew Alex to see what he thought. His answer was that love is a huggy hug. And this goes some way to describing how I feel when I'm with Debbie. In truth, I'd do anything for her to make her happy, and nothing thrilled me more than spending the rest of my life with her. I promise to accompany you wherever life takes us, because my home will always be where you are. I promise to support your dreams and celebrate your successes as if they were my own. I promise to be your biggest champion and to be equal partners in life. I promise to be your biggest champion and to be equal partners in life. Forever and always. Forever and always.